In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do citations and use AI to probe PDFs with both Ginny AI and Chat PDF. The reason I'm gonna show you with both of these is because they are currently doing an exclusive partnership. So if you decide to upgrade to Ginny AI, you will also get the upgraded version for Chat PDF included within that membership. And you can use the link in the description below to um, access Ginny AI, but you can also use my discount code GRADSCHOOL, all caps, to be able to get 20% off your membership. Now let's jump into Ginny AI and I'm gonna show you how to start um, being able to use citations in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload files into Ginny AI. So I can click upload files here and you can see that right now they are only accepting PDF format. So you need to download the PDFs of the references that you want to be able to use and then you can upload it into Ginny AI. One of the things that I'd like to see them build in in the future is one, a Zotero integration would be really awesome, but also being able to build, build in like bib text files and other things that you can upload multiple references at once without needing the PDFs for all of those references. So I'm gonna go ahead and click choose files and I'm gonna add in several PDFs into here. So here you can see all of my different files got added in. I added about seven different files and these are all on different things related to steroids and eye mobility because that is a topic I'm really familiar about. You do have the ability to search um, in here. So I'm gonna search eye on mobility and you can see all of these have this in here. I'm gonna search like estrogen or so EST is showing up in this one. So you do have some ability to search within here. However, right now there's no like general chat ability within your library to be able to talk to a chatbot about any of these papers and things like that. And that's where chat PDF comes in. So if I go over to chat PDF, I will also have a link in the description below. I can now add in one of these articles into chat PDF. And if you get an account and everything, you can add in multiple of these articles in here and have your library both in chat PDF and Ginny AI. So I'm gonna click browse my computer and I'm just going to add in one of these articles. I'm gonna add in one I'm really familiar about because I wrote it just because we're dealing with AI. So it's really helpful for me to know exactly what happened within that paper um, to be able to talk with you guys about it. So you can see it came up here. So you can see this is the manuscript version of this paper. This isn't the um, journal article version of this paper. And the nice thing about chat to PDF is because it's not built specifically for journal articles, it's built in general for PDFs. So where you might have like your um, graduate student handbook that you wanna get quick answers from, that might be something that something like chat PDF is gonna be really good with, but something like SciSpace is not gonna be able to use at all because it was built specifically for research articles. However, you can use something like chat PDF for research articles as well. So you can see the chatbot comes up here and it says, welcome to this informative PDF file on steroid analysis by eye mobility spectrometry. In this document, you will learn about the potential of IMS for steroid analysis and its advantages over other analytical methods. And then it gives us three example questions that we might have. What are the limitations of the current analytical methods? How does IMS work as a gas phase ion separator? And what are the potential applications of IMS for steroid analysis in the fields of medicine and sports. And so with working in this, I can ask specific things. So if I'm trying to cite, let's go back to my um, document here. If I'm trying to cite uh, steroid analysis or challenging due to steroids, high degree of isomerism, I can ask something like, can you show me in this PDF where it talks about steroids having many isomers. So then it says yes in um, 13, on page 13, it mentions heterodimers increase the resolution between isomers and complicate the ability to analyze and quantify steroids by this method. This suggests that steroids have multiple isomers and you can click right here to scroll to page 13 and you can see right here, it's talking about heterodimers increase the resolution between many isomers. So this is one way to be able to more quickly find the information you need. If you're like, I think I know that this information is within this PDF, but you're not exactly sure where, this is a way that you can quickly have this look for that information for you within that PDF and make sure that it is actually in there before you go and cite it. So now I know that this information is in here. It's talking about it having multiple isomers. And now I can come in here 
And in here, I'm going to go ahead and cite. So I have auto citations turned off currently in Gini AI. So if I come up to my settings right here, you can see my auto citations are turned off. But I can still call a manual citation. So I'm going to go back to where I was and I'm going to do the at symbol. And when I do the at symbol, this is where it's going to allow me to cite within this um, paper. And so what you can do is you can do all, um, you can do library. So these are specifically the PDFs that you've uploaded into your library here that you saw me do at the beginning of this video. You can do journals and this is actually looks like it's powered by site. Um, and for me, this is not giving as good um, of results. Like the websites are almost giving me better results. And you can see right here that um, they have actually generated search terms using AI based off of your actual um, sentence that you're trying to cite here. So you can see steroid challenge analysis challenges isomerism. And that's not something I typed in there, that's something they typed in there based off the sentence that I'm writing. But you can see the websites like separation of steroid isomers by eye mobility spectrometry. That's going to be a good one. Even this one, the one that I'm about to cite, comes up in the website, but it's not coming up in the journals as well. So that's another thing to be a little bit careful of within Jenny AI, but you can always use your library. So I can look for the one that I um, know that I have in my library, which is the steroid analysis by eye mobility that I just looked at within chat PDF to know that it is including this information in here. And I can just click add citation there and it's going to add that citation in there for me. If this didn't, um, if none of these kind of existed, whatever I was trying to cite didn't exist, I can always add a custom citation where I can switch this to a journal article and then I can just put in all of the information in here as well if I wanted to do that. Or if you're gonna export this out later, you can put in a placeholder in here um, to be able to do that instead. So then I can click off of this. So now I have my citation built in here. Um, and you can see down here, the references automatically exist and you can copy this as a bib text. So if you're wanting to build out your stuff in here, but then you wanna go into Word to get different citation styles, you can copy it as a bib text and automatically include all of that information, just upload into Zotero as a bib text and then be able to um, cite within there to correct any citations you have, or you can copy this to clipboard and then you can always change it. So Jenny AI is a little bit more limited on the different citation styles it has. So it has APA7, MLA9, Harvard, and IE, triple E. And so if you're trying to submit to something like analytical chemistry, you can't really use these citation styles. So what I would do is download this once you're done working with it within Jenny AI, and then use copy your bib text from Zotero, and then use Word to be able to um, input all of those references from Zotero instead. But if you are working with something like APA7, then this works fine for that, um, or MLA, but in the chemistry world, you're rarely using any of those types. You can still use Gini AI. All your references are still there. All you need to do is um, reformat them with something like Zotero is what I would suggest. And that's really nice because it does allow you to copy that bib text to just immediately, you don't have to, include all your references again in Zotero, you can just include it in there. And so that's a way to be able to cite within Gini AI. And right now, if you do upgrade, not only I did all of this using the free version, so you can see what you can do just using the free versions. But if you do upgrade, you will now get both Gini AI and chat PDF included in your membership so that you can do things like this. You can see where information is. And that's not really something that you can do with all the other different types of chatbots out there. So I hope this is helpful if you are trying to use Gini AI moving forward. If you're trying to write your scientific research article, download my scientific research paper checklist. It's gonna give you the structure for how to write your research article, which you can then do within something like Gini AI using chat PDF as well. Don't forget to use my code GRADSCHOOL if you're interested in getting 20% off Ginny AI, and I hope to see you in the next video.